Welcome everybody to another Twin Flame Tarot reading. Welcome, my name is Brittany. I am a coach with New World All Star and I am very, very happy to get to do this tarot reading for you guys today. Hope everyone out there is doing awesome. I am doing awesome. I'm very excited to get to do this for you guys today. Today we are going to take a look at what is going on with Divine Masculine. You know, guys, this can be a very interesting journey. And the chances are, if you found this channel, you are ready. You are ready for the next step, right? And the chances are, if you found this channel, if you have been divinely guided to this channel, you have met your twin flame. And guys, I know that it might not seem like it right now. You know, maybe you're still in that dark night of the soul energy, and that's okay. But listen, I got to tell you, this is just, this is the best thing that's ever happened to you. The mind may not think so. The mind may not agree with me, but I promise you it is. Now, a lot of you, maybe you're new here and maybe you're not really sure of what's going on here. And that's okay, you know. You know, I know when I first, you know, started this whole thing, I was like, what the hell is a twin flame? I don't even, I don't even know what that is, right? So we're going to talk about that. Well, there's a lot of information out there on the internet about twin flames. And a lot of that information, while it may be well-meaning, is not entirely accurate, right? But the one thing everyone can agree on is that twin flames are one soul in two bodies, right? Well... How does that happen? Well, time is illusory. Time is not linear, nor is it fundamental, interestingly enough. Nor is it fundamental. So, it stands to reason that if time is not linear, that you could have a simultaneous incarnation of your soul happening now, right? Because, you know, the soul, it incarnates, it deincarnates, it reincarnates. And this is just a simultaneous incarnation of your soul, of you. You are your soul. We are all three part beings. We have a body, we have a mind, we are the soul. We are consciousness. We are that which notices the mind, that which notices the body. And. When you experience thoughts, when you hear your own inner monologue, who's noticing it? You are. That's who you are. You know, it's so difficult for the mind to understand. And the mind really can't understand, right? This is beyond thought. This is beyond concept. This is beyond the mind. But you are not your mind. You are not the thinker of thoughts. You are not the questioner. You are not the seeker. You are not any of those things. You know, you're not your job. You're not your relationship status. You're not your position in your family. You're not any of that. You simply are. You are existence itself. Now, what the hell does this have to do with twin flames? Well, it has a lot to do with twin flames. Meeting your twin flame is a catalyst for awakening to the truth of your nature. There can be no awakening without suffering. And as you all know, the suffering that occurs after you meet your simultaneous incarnation of you, after you meet you in another body and they run away, there is suffering. And it really kicks off what... You know, everyone in the twin flame community calls the dark night of the soul, but it's actually what is referred to in traditional Zen spiritualism as ego death. It is the falling away of the identity. And, you know, I mean, you can't help but see it, right? When you're going through the dark night of the soul or ego death, the obsessive thinking is so loud. It is. It's like it's happening to you. And there's that moment, and I remember this moment, when the thinking is so loud and so crazy, and then there was me, and my intuition was just like, stop, right? 
And it was it was that that moment. I remember that moment where it was like, wait a minute, what's going on here? All right, guys, at the bottom of the deck. Oh, let me go back, actually. And I want to talk to you guys. If you want to know more about this whole Twin Flame and Ascension business, and I think that you should, check out our True Twin Flame Teachings playlist on this channel, on New World All Star on YouTube. Guys, Kurt has put out so much free content for you guys to know more about what's going on here. So I highly recommend you check it out. And with over 6,000 paying students to date, I'd say he knows what he's talking about. Now, let's get into this reading because that's why you guys are here. <laughs> All right. At the bottom of the deck for Divine Masculine, we have the Knight of Wands. All right. Divine Masculine is really pursuing new ideas with lots of energy and passion and just really, really, really taking inspired action. And I love that. And remember, guys, the more you detach, the more you let go of the physical person, the more that the physical person seems to move towards you. And so if you are detaching, if you are letting go of the physical person and you are just doing your own ascension, that's probably why that Knight of Wands is coming up for Divine Masculine because he's probably, you know, maybe moving toward you, Divine Feminine, because the more you detach, the more you let go, the more that Divine Masculine moves towards you. All right. In the recent past for Divine Masculine, we have the chariot moving forward for mo Divine Masculine is just moving forward, moving on with plans, you know, lots of momentum, lots of forward movement, really going along with that Knight of Wands. Perfect. A lot of, a lot of new energy, new beginnings, new ideas, a lot of excitement for Divine Masculine in the recent past. All right, and in the recent past, in the 3D life situation, so-called karmic situation, we have the star reversed and the six of wands. Okay, so divine masculine, really kind of feeling overwhelmed, feeling disconnected, and, and as if in the recent past, in the 3D life situation, like something's missing. It's just not fulfilling, you know, and... But they are overcoming these challenges. They're noticing that this isn't really a good fit and they're kind of moving away from it, which would explain a lot of the chariot, the knight of wands. And so it's all kind of making sense. And they're realizing that in this situation, and I get the sense that, I mean, it could be a relationship, it could be work, it could be a living situation, whatever it is, they're recognizing that this is not a situation that is good for them. There is no growth, there is only stagnation. And with that six of wands coming up, I mean, look at this guy. He's moving on. He's out. He's, he's out. So in the recent past, Divine Masculine is at least recognizing that this situation is not serving them, Mr. or Ms. Divine Masculine, but they either have moved on from it or are on their way to do so. All right. In the recent past toward you, Divine Feminine, we have the Ace of Wands reversed and the Five of Cups. So Divine Masculine is really kind of, in the recent past towards you, he was feeling very frustrated, very impatient, and also very sad. You know, things did not turn out the way that Divine Masculine had thought that they wanted things to turn out and feeling very disappointed in the recent past toward you, Divine Feminine. And... Yeah, I mean, that makes a lot of sense, you know? It doesn't matter what Divine Masculine is saying. It doesn't matter what Divine Masculine is shit posting all over social media. Divine Masculine, you know, has experienced sadness, has experienced loss in the recent past when it comes to you. Hey, guys, we have a sale going on right now. Until September 6th, get 30% off both of our world-class coaching programs when you pay in full at the checkout at newworldallstar.com using coupon code WORKIN. All right, that's newworldallstar.com. Get 30% off either one of our world-class coaching programs when you pay in full at the checkout and use coupon code WORKIN until September 6th. All right, guys, currently for Divine Masculine, we have the world. Okay. Completion of a cycle, endings and beginnings. So some things that were not really serving divine masculine are coming to a close right now, which is awesome. All right. And that's, I mean, there's a lot of like new beginning energy 
going on thus far in the reading. So let's keep going and let's find out more. All right, so currently in the 3D life situation, so-called karmic situation for Divine Masculine, we have the Queen of Cups reversed and the Knight of Pentacles reversed. All right, so Divine Masculine is really going within, is really kind of healing from this recent situation. And also, you know, but at the same time, still kind of feeling unsatisfied, you know, and, and though they may have left the situation that wasn't serving them, you know, the mind wants everything right now. The mind wants everything right now, you know, and Divine Masculine's mind is no different. And so Divine Masculine is really kind of getting impatient, you know, like I left this situation that wasn't serving me. Why in the hell don't I feel better? Blah, 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 right? So though Divine Masculine is kind of moving forward and going within and focusing on their emotional well-being, Divine Masculine is still kind of feeling impatient in that. And like, you know, why can't I feel better? Blah, 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 right? Because the mind always seeks externally. The mind always seeks externally for satisfaction, for validation, and all of that. And that's just simply not the way it works. That is just not the way that it works. And, you know, Divine Masculine is going to figure that out or not. Um, but, you know, the universe kind of pushes you into, or, you know, the all, all of it, your higher self will push you in directions for your growth. And Divine Masculine is no different. All right, guys, currently toward you, Divine Feminine, we have the moon reversed and the Ten of Pentacles. All right, so Divine Masculine, when they are looking towards you, they're really working through some fears and anxieties, and they're noticing that those fears are there, and they're able, they're kind of coming to this place of transcending them, which Divine Feminine, all of that is happening because you are transcending the mind. As you transcend the mind, as you let go, of the attachment to the mind. And it's not that the mind stops thinking. It doesn't. The mind thinks. You know, Eckhart Tolle said that the thinking of the mind is like digestion, right? And it's true. The mind thinks, okay? So it's not that you let, it's not that thought stops. It's that you let go of the attachment to it. It's just kind of noise, you know? So keep going and you're doing fantastic, and Divine Masculine is really starting to experience that. But yeah, the more that you transcend, Divine Masculine feels that, and it's just pulled towards you, and they, they don't even understand why. Guys, you know, it's spooky, but it works, okay? It just, it just works out that way, right? And, you know, whenever... You, it's like whenever you just let go of the person, when you let go of the attachment to the physical person, because don't forget, that's just you over there. That's just you over there. And with the 10 of pentacles coming up, I really get the sense that they are really just noticing these patterns of mind, noticing these fears, noticing, noticing these anxieties, and they're really just transcending them and wanting to move towards you. They're letting go of the story. And you are too. You are too. You don't care. It's just a story. It's just a narrative. This is energy. That's literally you. You are your twin flame. You are union. You are. And nothing can separate you from that which you are, right? All right, guys, we're going to do an oracle card. And while I'm getting this ready, I want to invite you guys over to newworldallstar.com to check out what we have to offer. And until September 6th, get 30% off either of our world-class coaching programs when you pay in full at the checkout and use coupon code WORKIN. All right, and since you're watching this video, I assume that you want to check out our Introduction to the Journey online video course for Twin Flames. And what you get with that is over 20 hours of educational material that will have you aligning with your soul, aligning with your higher self, attracting your twin flame back to you, and really just living your best, most amazing life. Seriously. And that's what we want for you guys. We want you guys to live an amazing life. And that's what we're all here for is to feel good and live amazing lives. So check that out. And I highly recommend that you get the gold package. 
with that, whether you pay in full or do a payment plan, that's right, guys, we do have payment plans available. If you can't pay in full, which it's not expensive, it's like three or $400, we have the sale going on until September 6th. That's 30% off either one of our programs when you pay in full at the checkout and use coupon code WORKIN, right? And it's not expensive already. Throw on the sale. It's really inexpensive, okay? And then get the gold program though because included in the package price is two months of the group coaching calls and access to the closed secret Facebook group for paying students. And we do like 10 hours a week of group coaching calls. The call times are very staggered. So no matter where you are in the world, you can jump on a call. And if that still doesn't work, no problem. We record the calls and you can get in the calls, get in the Facebook group, you know, after you watch the videos. And it's great, guys. And by the way, the payment plan is what we do is we take the full package price. We split it up into six easy payments. And as soon as you make your first payment, you have full access to the online video course. And as soon as you're done watching the videos, you can get into the calls, get into the secret Facebook group, and it's awesome. So I highly recommend get the gold package. Go over to newworldallstar.com today. Check it out. So, you know, stop watching tarot readings and start doing something about your situation. And we would love to work with you. Attract your twin flame back into your life. It's amazing. It works. All right, let's do this Oracle card. Ooh, this one for sure. Wish upon a star. That is so beautiful. I love that. Let's check it out. All right, wish Wish upon a star. Do you believe your dreams can become real or do you shrug them off and chide yourself for being unrealistic? What if you could trust that the world around you holds promise? You have not yet realized. Perhaps the point all along is not how something can happen, but the power of wishing and intending. We humans have multiple ways to ritualize owning a dream we want to see manifest in physical form. Think of a wishing well. You infuse a coin with your intention, turning in, or excuse me, turn, tuning in to the feeling of having a particular experience. Tossing the coin into the well symbolizes the act of letting the how go, walking away and allowing the universe to do its part in the co-creative partnership. Another method is to wish upon a star. In doing so, you also look back to our origins, for we are made of stardust. Today, allow yourself to dream and play with different realities, even if it seems impossible. If it calls you and feels good, why not choose it? Wish upon a star, then live as if your wish were already true. Know that those beautiful dreams you have been nurturing are in the process of becoming real. Don't forget the act of wishing, dreaming, and intending is more important than figuring out the how. It shows the universe you're serious about playing the game of life and you trust the essence of the partnership. Remember, every dream you believe in and hope for is a call to a twinkling star. The answer will come, sometimes swiftly, sometimes slowly, no wish is ever wasted. Guys, that is so friggin' true. It really, really is. It is so true. And you guys, you know, you gotta let go of the how, right? The, the, the Oracle card is exactly right. When you let go of the how and you just let the universe take care of it, don't worry about it. You just do you, just do you and the universe takes care of the rest. It's amazing. Trust it. It's real. All right, guys, moving forward for Divine Masculine, we have the King of Swords reversed, right? So moving forward in the near future, Divine Masculine is really seeing a lack of decisiveness, you know, really seeing a lack of clarity in what direction to go in, right? So all this momentum is kind of slowing down a little bit, but that's okay. You know, Divine Masculine is just kind of running into this place where it's like, well, I don't really know where to go, right? And I mean, I'm sure you guys have experienced that where it's like this new idea comes along and you're really passionate about it and then it, you kind of hit a wall, right? Now, moving forward in the 3D life situation, so-called karmic situation, we have the fool and the six of swords. 
And the guys, the fool is so like the fuck it, send it card. You know what I mean? It's just like, I don't know, but I'm going to take this giant leap of faith into the unknown and I'm just going to let go and trust. Fuck it. Send it. We're good. You know? And then that's kind of where Divine Masculine is at. It's really a card of surrender. Divine Masculine is just kind of surrendering, which is great. And remember, Divine Feminine, all these things are happening for Divine Masculine because you are transcending. You are letting go. You are surrendering. And Divine Masculine is experiencing that sort of in a way, right? You guys are one soul. That's you. You are them. There's only you. You are union. Okay. And so with the six of swords, right? So <clears throat> divine masculine in the near future in the 3D life situation is really moving away from the familiar and into the unknown. And guys, leaving behind the familiar, even when it's unfulfilling, even when it's not what's best for us, can be uncomfortable. And divine masculine is experiencing that, but saying, fuck it, don't care, send it, I'm going taking this leap of faith. Anything is better than that, you know, same old piece of shit, karmic situation, I'm out. And then moving forward in the near future toward you, Divine Feminine, we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Hanged Man. All right, so towards you, Divine Masculine is really seeing that life is always in a state of change and what goes around comes around and maybe a little bit of what they gave to you, they're experiencing, you know, that might be true too. And maybe, you know, they can feel the pain that they caused you. They can feel the heartache. And with the hanged man, they're really surrendering to this connection. They're letting go of the story, which is so perfect because, and they're, they are moving towards you because you are transcending. You're doing a fantastic job, Divine Feminine. I am here for it. All right, guys, that was a powerful reading. I love you all so much. Please give us a like, please hit subscribe, and please hit the bell notification button so that you are notified anytime we post one of these awesome videos. I love you guys so much. Get out there, have experiences, have some great experiences, enjoy the rest of your day, and let go, trust, you got this, the universe is on your side.